Welcome back everybody to Tony's Top Tips Workshop um, This is just a quick video uh, In the last video where they did the um, circular vacuum pods um, I did mention that we're having problems with the X-Max Now, when I come to check it, it must have been like that from, from the start um, But it's actually got predominantly worse Now what I'll, I'll show you here is um, what was the problem and also what I did to cure it now if you remember I showed you in the you can see the atrocious layer shifting there it's you can see that it's actually atrocious on it um, and then on that one you can see the layer shifting it's it's absolutely terrible uh, in fact to a point where um, on the top layer which is crucial for the vac pads or pods it has to um, adhere to the outer walls because of the shifting it wasn't so it was missing it um, I discovered it and I thought what what can be the problem anyway I, I thought the tape the, the beds loose um, you can move it about it's only on three springs um, I think it's a it's about a five mil bolt which is bolted um, so it can't turn around to the actual heated bed and then it goes through a spring and it goes through the plate there's two at the front one at the rear and it's got a, a plastic nut on it and then it's got a wing nut which you can lock the plastic nut off but when it's set correctly you can just get hold of the bed and it rocks to one side and backwards and forwards it was atrocious um, so I went on YouTube for fixes and there were uh, a couple on there uh, uh, a young lass and uh, a gentleman and they said what they did for their X Max is they installed those now you can see them they had a, a solid silicon rubber okay now when you look the recessed in the back and they're obviously recessed in the back because of the actual nut that's that's locking the bolt to the actual heated bed now when you buy these I'll put a link to these because I actually bought them off Amazon and it come with a pack of um, different lengths um, until you know the length you want well I use the long one the long one was better for the X-Max um, I put the short one on and I couldn't get any adjustment on the back because it was too loose so you needed a little bit of compression because they do compress you might not be able to compress it much but they do under, uh, under the uh, bolt and the, uh, the plastic nut that's the spring that was actually holding the bed together well you've got a six mil bolt no five mil bolt and it's quite long and it's compressed to about that okay now you can imagine the hole that the bolt goes through is about half a mil too big for start off and then that the bolt does nowhere near the edges of the spring so that's what it was doing and in the hole it's a, an atrocious little a bit of design really I don't know why I've never picked up on it um, I use the X Max but I, I haven't used it that much um, I used it I initially bought it for some um, large projects that I did and I did those and it didn't I didn't particularly notice much on layer shifting um, but just recently I have and especially when I printed in PLA because the different settings anyway to the hips and ABS I've been using so I thought lo and behold I love this one I got a pack I think I've used three and there's one two that's five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so there's four different sizes anyway I'll, I'll take you over to, to the printer and I'll show you where I've installed them it's pretty basic really but what a difference that is 
the same as those and I couldn't draw a vacuum on those at all that what a difference in layers absolutely spot on now I mean it's not as good as the bamboo labs or my Zotrax but it's near as damn it and, the, and it draws a vacuum immediately so it just goes to show I'll take you over to the machine and I'll, I'll show you um, how we install the rubbers right here we are at the machine now as you can see that is where the springs were sat okay and yeah the 5 mil the 5 mil bolts uh, there's one there one at the side of the shoulder there and one at the rear now initially when I found this problem I could get out of that bed and move it about it had dropped from side to side well you've got a large print like that the first thing it's going to do is it's trying to do it it's going to layer shift and you're going to get lack of adhesion it's not going to be right everything is going to miss where it should touch where the infill is going to touch the walls it's going to um, miss on touching those so you, the print is very very weak okay now I've installed those now and that is I've leveled it and I've leveled it I went round once the um, the full level and then I did it again and it hadn't moved whereas before it was um, I'm absolutely I can't believe for eight pound I think they were thereabouts I'll put a link on this in, down in the description but for eight pound what a difference it made it has made to a print now um, you know thanks to the um, the video that I watched I didn't even know these existed um, so you live and learn and that's what YouTube's about um, but it goes that way up like that so that, that because there's a nut under there on that 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 particular um, heated bed if I take the you see the you can see the it's threaded there okay that's the threaded bolt there so it has a nut on to lock that bolt to this plate the heated bed um, and that just sits over the nut that's it so jobs are good and over the moon now with that um, I hope I don't get any more problems with it right back around now um, well it's been a, a learning curve for me eight pound three of those replace those and what a difference it's made um, one of the best fixes I've ever done on a printer cheap and easy <laughs> um, eight pound I'll put a link in the description as I've said um, I think they're about eight pound for, you, you only use three but you get twelve <laughs> four of different sizes I use the long ones so just remember that it should work the long ones on your system on your X Max and I don't know what the newer X Maxes are like I have no idea I don't have one of those um, since I've got the bam bamboo labs um, I've, uh, I've been kept quite busy so don't forget like and subscribe and if you've got any comments you know give me your feedback um, I always like the feedback and if I can help you I will do um, I might not I don't know all the answers um, and certainly and, and, and if I can point you in the right direction I will do it's a learning curve for everybody's YouTube and uh, I'm just glad it's there uh, because it's helped me out on I've lost count a number of times it's helped me out you know you can blunder down a path thinking you're going to cure something whether it's CNC or 3D printing whatever you know whether it's repairing your mobile phone and you end up it costs you money but when you look on YouTube there's always somebody I've never found anything that I've wanted to fix that's not been on YouTube that somebody's fixed <laughs> it does help so right until next time you be safe be careful and bye for now